For almost the entire winter, shining brightly in the frosty air on our skyline, are three stars arranged diagonally in the middle of a bright rectangle adorning the belt of Orion. This belt points north to the clusters of the Hyades and Pleiades in the constellation of Taurus, and south to the brightest dog star, Sirius. Inside Orion, below and to the right of this belt, two huge stars can be easily spotted. These are Rigel and Betelgeuse. And if the latter star resembles a heavily breathing old man, but is better known for its about-to-explode status than the left foot of the giant. Also known as Rigel or Beta Orionis, whichever is correct, is less popular today, which is entirely unfair. It is the seventh brightest star in our sky, the brightest in its constellation, and a true supergiant. A shining, hot, blue star of dazzling beauty, it is one of the rarest in our galaxy. Rigel is located about 860 light years away from the solar system and is 47,000 times brighter than our star. Despite appearing as a single star to the naked eye, the Beta Orion system consists of at least four components, designated as Rigel A, Rigel VA, Rigel VB, and Rigel C. Three weaker components, Rigel Ba, BB, and C, are sometimes simply referred to as Rigel B. There is also another star, dimmer and farther away, which is a presumed component of the system. Rigel A is a luminous supergiant, separated from the weaker triple star system by a respectful distance and 400 times brighter than it. Rigel V is a spectroscopic binary star system, which means its binary nature can only be detected through the star's spectral lines. Rigel A is a spectral binary star system, which means its dual nature can only be detected through the star's spectral lines, as its two components Rigel VA and Rigel VB are located too close to each other to be observed even in very large telescopes. Rigel B and Rigel C, on the other hand, can be distinguished but only with telescopes of very high resolution. The Rigel BC system takes about 24,000 years to make a complete orbit around Rigel A, while the system's components rotate around each other with a period of about 63 years. Rigel Ba and Rigel BB have a much shorter period, making a full orbit around each other every nine days. Determining the properties of the Rigel Ba, Ba, and C components is quite difficult due to their close proximity to each other. All three stars appear white-blue, located on the main sequence with similar temperatures. Their estimated masses are also approximately the same, at about four solar masses each. But let's return to the main star of Betelgeuse. Rigel or Beta Orionis, which is the correct name, is less popular today, which is entirely unfair. It is the seventh brightest star in our sky, the brightest in the constellation, and a true supergiant. A brilliant, hot, blue star of dazzling beauty and one of the rarest in our galaxy. Rigel is approximately 860 light years away from the solar system and is 47,000 times brighter than our star. Although it appears to the naked eye as a single star, the Beta Orionis system consists of at least four components designated as Rigel A, Rigel VA, Rigel VB, and Rigel C. Three weaker components, Rigel Ba, BB, and C, are sometimes referred to as Rigel B. There is another star, fainter and farther away, which is presumed to be a component of the system. Rigel A is a luminous supergiant separated from the weaker triple star system by a respectful distance and is 400 times brighter. Rigel V is a spectroscopic binary star system, which means that its binary nature can only be detected by the star's spectral lines. The two components of Rigel V are also massive stars of equal temperatures on the main sequence. Their estimated masses are also approximately the same, at around four solar masses each. But let's return to the main star of Beta Orionis. It is a bright and massive star, a blue or white-blue supergiant, around 8 million years old, with a temperature of over 12,000 K. Rigel's radius is almost 79 times larger than the sun's, and its calculated mass is 21 times greater than the sun's mass. Although Rigel is often referred to as the brightest star within 1,000 light-years of Earth, the star's luminosity has not been fully determined. 
Based on the currently accepted distance of 860 light years, its estimated luminosity is approximately 120,000 times greater than our star. However, recent research suggests a distance of around 1170 light years, which gives a luminosity of 218,000 times that of the Sun. Rigel A is classified as an Alpha Cygni variable, also known as Deneb. This means that it exhibits small changes in brightness due to non-radial pulsations, with some parts of its surface contracting while others simultaneously expand. Some parts of its surface compress while others simultaneously expand. A number of other known stars belong to this class, including Almalam. Rigel has already exhausted the hydrogen in its core and, evolving from the main sequence, has begun to cool and expand to its current observed size. Judging by the star's pulsations, it may have once been a blue supergiant before becoming a red supergiant, but then increased its temperature and became a blue supergiant again. Here is no reservation here. The fact is that the surface of blue supergiants rapidly decreases due to compression, while the radiation of internal energy continuously increases and raises the temperature of the star. The result of such a process is the transformation of red supergiants into blue ones. Despite the unknown physical properties of Rigel, the star will suffer the same fate as other exceptionally massive stars. After some time, it will explode as a Type II supernova. This star is one of the closest known candidates for supernovae. When this event occurs, the supernova will likely reach a visual magnitude equal to about one quarter the brightness of the moon. However, this will not affect the Earth in any way because Rigel is too far away. Rigel serves as a spectral standard for its class. Its spectrum shows neutral helium lines and strong hydrogen absorption lines characteristic of its class, as well as heavier elements including oxygen, magnesium, and calcium. Rigel B is a bright enough star that could even be seen in small telescopes if it were not so close to the main Rigel. The binary system is separated from the primary component by more than 2,200 astronomical units. It has the same proper motion as Rigel A. Both have an orbital period of at least 18,000 years. When talking about stars, many people always ask, do exoplanets exist in such multiple star systems? In other words, are there any planetary worlds around Rigel? In this stellar system, there are no confirmed planets around Rigel, but some studies suggest that there may be gas giant planets orbiting the star period of not less than 18,000 years. When talking about stars, many always ask the question, do exoplanets exist in such multi-star systems? In other words, are there planetary worlds around Rigel? Around this star system, there are about 14 unconfirmed exoplanets. The difficulty of observing them is that the Rigel system is very bright, and if it is difficult to examine the stars themselves, then the exoplanets are even harder to see. However, it is known that more than half of them are gas giants, and the rest, although possibly rocky, are not suitable for life due to the radiation from all the stars in the Rigel system. The Great Hunter or Heavenly Warrior, Orion, the brightest of the constellations visible from any part of the Earth. The figure of Orion was practically associated with great national heroes, warriors, or demigods in almost all ancient cultures. Nevertheless, the ancient mythological stories about Orion are so numerous and so tangled that he himself appears to us as a vague and elusive figure. Despite this, the constellation named after him is the brightest of the constellations visible from any part of the Earth, one of the most well-known in our starry sky, and certainly represents the very treasury of the Milky Way, where a whole multitude of the most unusual stars of our galaxy are hidden. Rigel, like many other bright stars, had cultural and historical significance in many countries of the world. It was used in countless works of art, and today two places in Antarctica are named after it. Rigel Rocks and Mount Rigel, 